Um, yeah. It, it definitely fucking... If I could get them beer or other stuff... What are you doing, Azula? You gotta walk over mon... Just give her a sec. Azula's gotta walk past my microphone at least once a night. And because my microphone is on a keyboard cover instead of a microphone stand, because I don't have one, um, I have to stabilize it for her to walk across safely so that she doesn't flip anything. Um, but yeah, I don't know how many prisoners I took. Like I said, once we get all the way out of Quillen, I'll find out. How are we going here? Gwentis Caravan, you're all the way at the top, but whoever just left here, I need you to rest and wait. Because guys coming out of this base, I need just to catch up. No, 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 don't form a caravan. We'll do that in a minute. I just want to zoom in. Yeah. So, the other thing too is I really do need to actually make sure that my people get uh, weapons and shit. I'm not eating popcorn now. I'm eating a popsicle. Alright. Yeah, it's too cold for that here. But yeah, salty and sugary would probably help. Nice balance. I just have a hell of an energy drink. So, I'm hoping that that helps. A little bit of sugars and shit like wake me up. It's like yesterday I was awake for way too long. And I ended up getting like probably the best sleep I've had for fucking ages last night. Um, and then, yeah, I kind of just woke up and chilled out for a few hours. But again, I kind of woke up a little bit too early. So the only problem I've got with these guys is I have got silver on this map. Mostly I saw it up there, but I don't think we've got it like anywhere else. See, it's something cold when it's cold as fire. I mean, see, I feel really, really cold when it's cold. Like, I don't warm up when it's cold. Um, I also have a lot of, like, old injuries and medical conditions and shit, too. So, for me, it's physically extremely painful to be that cold that I can't warm up. Um, but it's really funny that, like, in winter is pretty much the only time that I'll actually, like, get an ice cream or something, you know? I don't tend to eat them in summer. It's like it's not as pleasant. But still, once I've had an ice cream, I'm basically like screwed with that. It's freezing cold. Um, how are you guys? You're on edge and I think you're... I don't know if any of these guys can attend. So I'm just checking what their stats are because there's a chance they may die here. I've got mining and plants. Construction and animals. And cooking and social. Like, fucking hell. If I lose another fucking cook... I really don't want to lose another cook because I lost, like, half a dozen already. You have got a lot of blood loss. We tended to you as best we could. And they've both got malnutrition. We only have chocolate left here. Like, there's stuff that's growing, but it's not growing for some reason. I don't know why. Like, maybe there's some strawberry is going to happen soon. But yeah, for some reason we ended up with excessive quantity of chocolate. I think all the chocolate out here might have degraded. We've still got 3,000 out here. God, we got attacked by mufflers at one point. Where's the rest of it? Oh shit, somebody's having an affair. No, there's still 19,000 chocolate. I just don't have any other food here. There's a Costa pursued ginseng by exaggerating her own artistic skills. Oh man, who... Oh, Fucking corpsey. What corpsey? Acosta, you're an absolute bitch. You really are. I hate this. Poor corpsey is just the nicest fucking bloke, right? And he's just like, he's also, you know, our greatest fucking medical person in the entire friggin' colony. And uh, so he married Acosta, and I'm like, oh, cool. Acosta's been like pretty loyal across most of the games that I've played because. I use Prepare Carefully to bring colonists in from other maps to play on this, right? And I've played with Acosta for like a dozen or so maps. And I've played with Corpsey a few times as well. And they're normally pretty good. But usually, usually it's not Acosta that cheats. It's usually like Tofu, wherever the fuck Tofu is in my colony now. I don't even know if he's here. I think he is. But yeah, Tofu normally shacks up with every like main female and then steals their bedroom, kicks them out, and upgrades the next female with the better room. And that's generally what happens. Corpsey, Tofu, Dodsworth, E, all get absolutely fucking ripped. Like, every, 
every single game. I feel so sorry for them. Hey, where is he? There. No. Is that? Oh, it's Dorsey. They look the same, mate. They're both purple. Um, they're a lot faster to find you this way. Let's see. Uh, not Cyprus. Actually, if it's... I thought Cyprus was top medical guy. So what is Corpsey? Corpses are... Oh, he's our trade guy. Sorry. Oh man, that's not... I mean, we're not in good position for trading at the moment. But I do need him for when I have to repair what I did to my allies at some point. He's not here yet, which means he's in one of these caravans. Which makes sense why she's cheating on him. But, um... Yeah, I hate that. Now they're going to be shitty. I also have a situation with wild human in my colony. Um, I believe that's Langer up here, this fellow. And the problem I've got with Langer is that uh, he was a colonist, one of my colonists, and he decided to run wild. So now he's technically an animal, right? She, whatever. Um, and basically... The problem I've got is that for some reason I cannot seem to fucking tame him back into a colony. I've uh, been at this for like a while, like a really long while. So whenever somebody goes wild, depending on how they do it, like if it's uh, just a choose to run wild or something like that, then I will basically reload the game back to the nearest save point so that they can have a different kind of tantrum. But if it's something like, um, I don't know. Whatever the other one is, where they don't like turn into a wild animal, you know, you can imprison them and stuff. Then I'll just capture them. I will have a whole colony in the prisons. Now I don't, I don't indiscriminately like kill colonists, as you might have noticed. I have a lot of colonists, um, but yeah, I don't do that shit. I also don't do cannibalism or any of that stuff. I don't have slaves, any of that stuff either. Like basically, normally. I can't show you here because I don't fucking physically have it built yet, but we had, we had like in these corner bits and later we had them in these sections and stuff like that. We had really nice prisons, um, which I was starting to fill out with all the legendary like made stuff to kind of make it like really, really nice for people that we've captured to want to join. The, the rest of the place wasn't that great. But for the most part, the prisons and shit were nice, so they'd want to join. And pretty much as soon as they can join, like, I'll up their skills, I'll give them, like, consistent work schedules, you know, like, I'll make them beds, whatever they want kind of stuff. I generally, like, try to take care of them. There's a few, though, that have uh, pissed me off a little bit too much, and I have kind of revoke their medical privileges. Fuck off the notification. Yeah, so basically these people have reduced their medical status at like one time at a time kind of thing, you know. Like, if they're constantly having tantrums or constantly going slaughtering or whatever the dealio might be, I just, you know, revoke their life privileges eventually. So when we get into a battle or something like that, we... They're basically at the forefront of a battle, they go down, they don't get any doctor care. They die. But it's not my colonists that have specifically killed them, so my people don't get as upset. It works a little bit better, especially when you have this many fucking people. Like, the buff of like three deaths of a colonist on any one person, and then you maximize that across a colony? Holy fuck. It's, it's not okay. <laughs> Same with the organ harvesting shit, too. That that shit doesn't fly here because holy shit if you want everybody to go slaughtering that's the way to go we'll hydrate too so a little space I got down here isn't supposed to exist it's a temporary space that kind of existed here already and I love how all my panthers are getting in here and like helping out so it's fantastic I have a lot of animals uh, last time I was where before we moved, we had like 570 something animals um, on top of my colonist count, and a lot of them uh, tamed or trained or whatever. A lot of them at the moment, I've got a lot of hauling animals, preferenced over like tamed and trained animals and stuff. So, yeah, I got a lot of stuff. 
but uh, a lot of the ones that are trained to help, like haul and carry, rescue, all that stuff, they have been so fucking useful. So basically, if you imagine I've got 200 colonists, right, but 200 colonists are able to work at any time of the day around the clock. They just have to take whatever resource it is that they need to the location and work on it. I like what you're seeing here, basically. Um, but if there's shit just like left around somewhere, then uh, I have Panthers and I've got Megasofts and Thrombos for that kind of thing. You know, they'll bring the resources back in. I don't have to waste time or colonists doing that. Obviously, I have to spend a little bit more time cleaning because the animals get inside, but I consider it a valid trade-off, honestly. It's worth it. You made a organ drug empire. See, I consider that just like standard Rimworld though. Like, I I have been going just like basically not playing any game the way it's supposed to be. I, I'm getting a lot of people telling me at the moment that I'm playing Rimworld as Dwarf Fortress. I'm getting a lot of people mistaking Quillen for Dwarf Fortress. Which, I'm not surprised. Like, most people don't generally have a few hundred colonists. Hey, I didn't realize Tackles is still in here. The fuck are you doing out of bed? Uh, that's not going to help you malnutrition. So, yeah, there's going to be... Wait, somebody else is up. Where is Lou? Oh, there's Lou. What are you doing, Lou? You're beating out a fire. I could think of a higher priority thing to do with you. I don't think... I think I'm going to send you out separately. Hold on. Let's get zoomed in here a bit so I can actually click on my colony. So, yeah. Send you to here. Let's send Lou out. I think Lou could carry Burrow. Okay. I know Burrow's down. I know Lou's injured, but I believe he could carry him out. I don't want to carry out my steel, my turrets, my beds, none of that shit. I just want them to pick up the coins. There's like fuck bugger all left. They don't need food. They could pick up a couple of chocolates if they want. And I'll get them to meet my caravan outside and see how that goes. You don't, Phoenix. You are not climbing up in front of the microphone. I know you want to. And this is my cat for any bit that doesn't know. And yeah, he has this thing where he would specifically like to sleep on top of my boobs. But he can't really do that while I'm streaming because you guys aren't going to hear me to the microphone. Um, so he gets kind of salty and shitty about it and just kind of like persistently tries to get up between me and the microphone instead. But he has a chair and he's got a heater, so yeah, he's right next to me, literally. A little ago, uh, was it a little ago, but they died from two raids. One person got away, so I'm trying to rebuild the empire. One of your people got away or one of the raiders escaped? Because like... My raids basically range anywhere from 10 people to 75 people at a time, you know, max, whatever. Uh, we have recently actually had one. <laughs> this is how I got my, uh, this is how I got my allies. Um, how I got my fucking, where is he? Where's Bombay? Where are you, mate? I went too far. Alright, so... Where are you, mate? I'm guessing he's... There he is. Yeah, so Bombay is one of my community members, like, uh, in-game characters. So, Eternal Dipsy's character is Bombay. And yeah, I've got him. So he came in with an ally, and I basically screwed up my ally to take him. I don't usually do that kind of crap. I'm normally very good with my allies. I've only done that twice, and I've only done it ever on this playthrough. I did it to get Grim, my best mate, and I did it to get one of my community members actual like in-character people. So like if I happen to see somebody that's like Raccoon or Tybran or um, Lust, I will I will do it again for that. But that's the only other exception I think I'd take, honestly. I've also got a whole bunch of my people that are currently well, not all of these are my people. I think three of mine are prisoners in here. Oh, uh, it was one of your people. Did they steal it or did they just run away during the fight? Because, like, that shit happens sometimes. Like, I always have at least one or two people decide that they've had enough and they're fucking leaving this colony when uh, I get a battle. It's majestic every time. I'm like, do you have to pick this exact moment? 
to do this. I might also get you guys just to dig through here. I need them to dig all the way through, but I've got a lot of people in here that can do mining. And I know that they'll do mining if I give them the opportunity to do it. So what I want... If I could close off that. I don't have a door for that yet. And I know my people, they are not little bright bubbles. So I need to get rid of that so that somebody doesn't get stuck in the room. Like we did up here. Like, for God's sake, they got stuck in there. If you could build a room and know for certain... Oh my God, there's a panther stuck in there. Who the fuck did this? Hold on. Sass, I've got a higher priority for you. Hold up. I need you to take out this specific corner. Go mine. Oh, the dromedary's in here too. Hold up. We got a double situation. Chibo, are you a mining person? You're not, but Sasha fucking well is. Send Sasha up, actually. Send Sass up here first, and I'll send Sasha around. Get you up here. Okay. Um, I did not notice that. I noticed that I had a couple of animals specifically milling around here because we had a problem where once I cut this out, they just kind of, all well, my animals started seeping out because I made this huge ass pen wherever the fuck one of my pen markers is here. No, that's not it. Hold on. Down here. Yeah, so this is a pen. This whole green area is an active pen for my hauling animals and like farming animals and stuff. I haven't like built in anywhere yet. But um, yeah. When I'm kind of like building these sections and I'm mining through the rock, it's I'm unfortunately releasing uh, animals back out. So I'm trying to avoid that. I should be able to build all of that. And once we get in here, I can start filling that, like backfilling that. Okay. Sasha's coming up. I'd rather Sasha do it because I think Sasha's got higher, yeah, much higher than Sass does. And Sass can go back to whatever the fuck Sass is doing, but Sasha should be enough. I don't think we can like duplicate that, but actually Sass will get onto that. Uh, another caravan fight. Yeah, let's go. Which one? <laughs> the same one. You've got to be shitting me. Are any of these prisoners like laying down? No. Okay, all the prisoners are still in good form at the moment, so they're not like super injured or anything. Alright, how many is here? Fifteen. <laughs> I wasn't expecting two raids in one night. Hold up. Let's fucking double save that. See what happened. We had 31 people make a colony to go raid Empire. Uh, so sort of, no, I saw it too. Um, no white ones. Got the name, sent 25 to raid them, but they got there and got attacked immediately. And died, so people at base got raided by 20 people. I got one guy to grab anything important like silver, some meals, and a gun. Did you basically like have to like rush job, abandon your site? Because I've read something on one of the fucking load in screens that says like if a severe ra like raid happens, it's actually sometimes better to just abandon everything and just go. Wow, that's pretty interesting because you'd be the very first person that's actually told me that they've had to do that. Like I read it as one of the menu things and I was like, I couldn't imagine doing it with a colony this big. The logistics of getting everybody to fucking leave is just, they're not going to do it. I would have to send every single person individually. And even then, I think some people want a nap, some people want a cookie, some people would want to fucking go lay down and I don't know, fucking, good God, my colony. <laughs> So yeah, we would never leave. Didn't have any other option. That didn't have the option to reload. Ah, uh, yeah. So I'm playing on BB Chillax, Colony Builder, and like reload anytime. And that's basically just because I plan to try to get to the off-world flag with an army. That's what I'm doing. Um, so before 1.5 came out, I found that uh, my reload times were like instant. Like, it wasn't even anything to, like, sniff at kind of thing. It was worth the time to just roll back a couple of times over to, like, take a fight. But now, they're quite substantial by comparison. And I don't really have more people. I actually have less people than I did then. I don't know what that is. But, I mean, there's nothing really much I can do about it. The only good thing is, fucking hell, can I talk? So when we've got one of those load-in screens, all I can say is either run an ad or I can fucking talk like hell. That's about it. 
You look amazing, mate. Saga Kaga. What a name. Can I just take you? Because, like, I'm never going to pronounce that ever again. Um, there's a whole heap of people here that I can take. I don't know what kind of numbers I'm trying to put into my colony, but there's basically Goto, Jaguar, I can't take... Oh, Jaguar I can. Uh, whatever the first one was again. So, top one, another Menino. Can't take you. Game. Can't take you. Hyena, no. Blue Jay, I can never get a fucking Blue Jay, eh? Um... Ray, yeah, I could take you. There's a whole heap of people here I could probably take. I'm really bad with people's names in general, so I normally try to take ones that I can pronounce, but there's basically about four in here that I can't take because they're ultra loyal, which means that there's nothing I could do. Also, so I only have core game and uh, no DLCs and six mods, so... Um, like, when people talk about, like, the Imperial and stuff like that, like, I know of it from watching people play, but I've never experienced it as well. So, yeah. While I'm waiting for this attack to happen, so pretty much, like, the mods that I've got are... Uh, where are they? I've got Prepare Carefully, Wild Reproduction, which is not currently working, Drop All Inventory, Hugs Lib, Harmony, and Deep Stacks. What I've got. That's all I've got. Which you guys can see on the main screen anyway, every time I reload the game anyway. Which, honestly, if I get into a severe enough battle, the other thing too is I brought in 21 colonists from other maps originally. I really expected uh, my colony to implode immediately. Being honest, I really did. So, um, when it didn't, I decided to kind of change direction and head for the flag since it was actually achievable on this map. All of mine have been like on an ice sheet on an island, so it's not really been practical. But um, yeah, I'm gonna try for it this time. I'm gonna take a motherfucking army and just like, yeah, absolutely gonna just go for it. But I do want specifically um, my original 20, where is this guy? I want my original 21 colonists specifically to survive, um, preferably. So I would like, for the most part, them to, if I can, on some way, maybe get them out of here. It must be at the back here. Let me have some more drink while I look for them. There you. So Olivia's got it. And you. There's only one person in my uh, range at the moment. Can you not kill the guy? I'm kind of fucking zap. All right, everybody's in range now. Everybody's in my range. Okay, so I know that you in the back, Levia. I think what happened is this guy walked out to the side and I couldn't get him. Also, actually, yeah, they're all prim primitive weapons. This is pretty good. Not that one. I do not want that guy. Let's try Gabriel. Gabriel's free game. <laughs> Fucking Saga Kaga. <laughs> Seriously. I love it. I don't know if I can get you around that direction. I think Goto was a no. You were a no. You're outside of range. You lot are in range. Uh, Hyena, I think, was a maybe. No. You weren't either. You are. Okay, hold on. Who was it up the front that had that? Yeah. All right, take you. I can't take you. So basically everybody else is gonna fucking rip into them in a minute. You, I can. I might be able to reach you with one of these guys if we move them up. Like a lot of my group's kind of like scattered. Let's move them up here. All right. So, generally speaking, I don't get too many really, really bad fights. Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, I do get it occasionally. Sometimes I get like a, um, massive mech battle or something happened and holy shit then we got problems or it's just somebody in the legacy crew that came in originally dies and then i have to reload and try again and the way that this game seems to work is if you have one person die the trade-off to save that one person might actually be the cost of four other people 
or a few people and an animal or something like that, it can be really detrimental to a colony and you've got to kind of pick and choose. But reloading the game changes the odds of like what you're offered in a situation. So it's really interesting. It's kind of been fun to play with because I've had it before where I've chosen to let, you know, a bunch of people die versus having a legacy character, you know, get killed. That way I can move on. The only problem I've got, the only real big problem I've got is I do not know where the fuck my second legacy cat went. There's Xena. No fucking idea where Zeke is. That happened in amongst the last move. I couldn't tell you. I literally just never noticed. <laughs> so yeah, that one's a... Uh, oops. That happened. But Xena's still there, so maybe we can get her to the very last location. I think what happened is they culled her in transit. I think that's what happened. Was well, Zeke's the... Zeke's the male. Yeah. That's all I can think of. Because that's the only thing that logistically makes sense to me. You take down... Was it Ray I was looking at? Yeah. Ray. I could get you... If I could find somebody else. I must admit that I do like the fact that it does show if they've got the shock lance on the back that does help. But I mean it doesn't always. I'll take you two. I can't take and I can't take Jaguar. I can't take Blue Jay. Um Goto, I can't take you. There's a whole bunch of people here that's got like swords and shit. I'll just send you out individually because I don't want to select the whole group. That group I want to absolutely rip into in a minute. You're doing it, Zilla. You're crossing back over. She's going to do this three or four times tonight. Just letting you know, I've been kind of paying attention to it. She gets too hot. She goes and lays down on the cooler side of the desk. She comes back when she's too cold. And then she gets thick with the sauce with the drooly kittiness. And it's very cute. But, yeah. It's 7.56 right now. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, it's like almost 11 p.m. for me. So... I kind of forget that sometimes because like, I don't notice time passing, honestly. Um, I do sometimes, but not usually. I could take Hamster and whatever the fuck your name is. I thought I couldn't take this guy, but I guess we can. None of you have got it. You do. Fuentes. I don't really care which one's specifically out of there, but there's one more dude up here. I'm going to use up all my shock lances. By the way, I was saving these to like slap around my own colony. This was kind of how I was um, dealing with shit. But this is fine. To a degree. Oh, somebody hit her. Somebody hit Lumi hard then. Okay. Good job, Mark. Fucking sword. Okay, Caravan Battle is won because I've basically taken out all the threats. Except I haven't kicked your ass. And Jaguar, I'm pretty sure I was able to take you. But we'll have to see if we can down you instead. And that's probably not going to happen with the amount of people I've got. But let's run it down Grey. I'm probably not going to get Grey. Grey's got such evenness here. Look at this. Construction, mining, and cooking. Like, they're low stats, but I could make them better. I could buy some fucking thingies for it. Who the hell they are. I really should take you, because you can cook. I think Lumi's using her last one. Yeah. All right. Anybody still got one? Anybody at all? One person does. Can you reach hamster? Wait, I've got... Holy shit, how many? Ludo, mate. Don't waste it on that. Who's still up? It's fucking... Everybody. You. I don't think I can take... Fuck, I can take you. Who else has got one? I was not expecting my colony to have this much. This is like fucking Christmas. Like a good kind of Christmas, you know? Uh, you've already zapped him. Who else has got one? Hawk. The hawk has got it? Yeah, you do. That sounds something like screaming. Look, I don't like the noise either, but unfortunately sometimes I've got to, like, let them do what they're doing to try to, like, take people. It's it's still everybody. You zap that one too. That should be everybody. If they don't kill them. Come on, you guys. Got the little zappy thing. There we go. Okay. Nice. I think that's the most people I can get down at once out of this group. Most people I've had down at one time was like 17 or something, I think. Most amount of prisoners, 21. 
So that was the thing that happened. All right, double check everybody's stats are takeable. Some people are just legit on fire. <laughs> so that's the thing that's happening right now. Um, you are a waste of time. Uh, Hina's can stay. Hina's can stay and I wasted one on you. Hina's and Gam. All right, everybody else is coming with me. This caravan's coming in with a lot of prisoners. Uh, yeah, reform that. I'm not going to have enough food in the way I'm 